This writing tip is brought to you by www.agoodread.com. Thought I would do a video about a new site that I just found. It's called workflowy.com. It's at https colon forward slash forward slash workflowy.com. And when you get here, it's really simple. Kind of reminds me of Google, how simple it is. And if you don't have an account, you just simply click down here. And this changes. You input your email, you re-enter your email, and you give yourself a password. And then you click Sign Up. And once you do, you'll be into this site. Now this looks pretty simple. It's very clean. And for those of you who like to make a lot of to-do lists like I do, this is much better because you're not going to have a whole bunch of papers all around your desk. And what I like about it is the fact that I can add things easily. I can leave my browser in my taskbar with this to the tab. And every time I have a thought, I can come in and put it in. Now, I'd like to go over a few things with you. For instance, if you hover over this, you can add a note. and then you can either decide if it's complete. You can share this if you want to collaborate with someone else. You can export it or you can delete it. Now if you double click on it, then you can go in and put additional things into it. What I like is you can then go back because of the little navigation here, go back to home almost immediately. And let's say that you want to Take this marketing that you know you're going to do every day and you want to move it up. Well, all you have to do is click on this little four-way bar and just simply move it up. And that's how easy you can rearrange anything in this program. If you want to undo it, you just click up here. And if you want to redo it, you click it back. Now, you can make the decision to have the completed either visible or hidden with this button. Periodically, you'll want to save it. It will automatically save, but periodically you will want to. So all you have to do is click Save. This little down arrow has the help and has the settings, and you can also sign out if you like. The settings are your theme is the default, or you can do serif, and it changes the look. I happen to like sans serif, so that's why I'm going to keep it. Help me learn the keyboard shortcuts. Well, normally it's unchecked, and if we check it, then this will come open. And these are the different shortcuts, and you can leave it open if you like. It doesn't take up very much room, but it's kind of handy to have until you learn them. And I can email summaries of changes to my account. So I'm going to close. What I like about it for authors is the fact that you can put your book project on here and kind of flesh it out without having a bunch of, of notes and everything all around your computer. I can't tell you the number of times I've lost something or took me 15 minutes to find it. So by clicking on this, I've set out my scenes. If you have a nonfiction book, you could set out your chapters and what you want to discuss in it and move them around as you see fit. But what's really nice is like if I put in here something I want to search for, say I want to search for a pound key, it's not going to find it, but if I go into home and search for that pound key, it's going to go and find that I have that pound key set to marketing. Now you could mark things with a pound and like today, and then when you search it, anything that you wanted to get done today would come up. So I hope you find Workflowy useful to you. I do. 
I like the way it's set up. It's simple, it's clean, and will make your jobs so much easier for getting stuff done. Thank you for watching.